Thermometers are one of the most important tools in the chemistry laboratory. They're easy to use, but since they're usually made of glass, they have to be handled properly. One common misconception is that lab thermometers have to be shaken down like medical thermometers. Shaking is totally unnecessary, and it can be dangerous. The liquid inside can move freely up and down on its own without shaking. Some lab reactions take place at higher temperatures than an alcohol or mercury thermometer can stand. The temperature of oxidation in a Bunsen burner flame is around 600 degrees Celsius. That high a temperature will vaporize the liquid inside. The resulting pressure will break the glass. But most lab experiments are conducted at temperatures from 120 degrees Celsius down to minus 20 degrees. And for that range, either a mercury thermometer or an alcohol thermometer is suitable. No matter which type you use, always treat it carefully. When you're finished with it, set it down where it will be safe. Lay it away from the edge of the bench on a wire screen or towel so it can't roll off. When a thermometer breaks, the glass and any liquid that spills out must be cleaned up and disposed of properly. This is a job for your teacher. Glass fragments can be swept up. If any alcohol happens to escape from the glass, it can be wiped up with a paper towel. Cleaning up a broken mercury thermometer is more difficult and also a job for your teacher. Mercury is poisonous and it won't soak into a paper towel. Mercury vapors also can escape into the air. If you work with mercury thermometers, your lab may be equipped with a mercury cleanup kit or sponge. The kit and broken glass should be disposed of in the proper container. Don't shake thermometers. Use thermometers only in the temperature range they're suited for. Lay thermometers down on a towel or wire screen to cool, away from the edge of the bench. Let your teacher clean up broken thermometers. The most common lab injuries are cuts from broken glass, especially glass tubing. A typical accident comes from using too much force to push a tube through the hole in the stopper. One way to avoid this kind of accident is to use an inserter. First dip the Teflon tip in a glass lubricant such as glycerin. Then push it through the stopper. Remove the tip and slide the tubing through the hollow inserter shaft. Removing the shaft leaves the tubing behind. Make sure to wash the lubricant off the tubing and stopper before using them. And replace the Teflon tip so it doesn't get lost. To remove the tubing, take out the tip and lubricate the end of the hollow shaft. Push it through the stopper hole around the tubing. Then slide the tubing out through the shaft and remove the inserter. Remember to wash the lubricant off before returning the stopper and tubing to storage. And don't forget to replace the tip. If you don't have an inserter, lubricate the tubing instead. And protect your hands with leather gloves. Push the tubing gently through. Rotate it if there's any resistance. Use the same care when removing it and don't forget to wash off the lubricant.
Use an inserter to place glass tubing in a stopper or remove it. Or lubricate the tubing and protect your hands with leather gloves.